In this video, you'll learn about easy fat killer techniques. But before going into detail, let's talk about cardio. The word cardio is short for cardiovascular. Cardio workouts are endurance exercises that strengthen the circulatory system consisting of the heart and blood vessels in your body. People do cardio over long stretches of time as it makes the heart beat faster and pump more blood through your system, bringing nutrients and oxygen to every cell. Cardio workout can simply be explained as a physical exercise of low to high intensity that depends on the aerobic energy generating process of the exercise you do. It's any activity that gets your heart rate raised to 50 to 75% of your maximum heart rate. Calculate your maximum with the formula 220 minus your age. For example, if you're 25 years old, 220 minus 25 equals 195. Cardio workout burns calories in your body. Most people do cardio training to lose weight, gain body mass, train stamina, etc. There are different intensities to cardio exercises. Low or moderate intensity exercise normally leaves you feeling slightly breathless but still able to comfortably talk to someone. Low intensity exercises include walking, swimming, or cycling. On the other hand, high intensity exercises will leave you speaking in short sentences as you sweat and breathe rapidly. High intensity exercises include running, sprinting, aerobic classes like Zumba, or circuit training. It is commonly believed that long, slow, and low intensity cardio is best for fat loss as it utilizes aerobic exercises that burn fat during exercise. While some find high intensity cardio more effective for fat loss as it burns higher amounts of overall fat. So the question is, how do you know which one is better? Low intensity or high intensity? The short answer is that the best type of cardio, whether low or high intensity, is the one you will do consistently over time. The optimal plan is to start at lower intensity if you're new to cardio and slowly work your way up to higher intensities as your endurance and cardiorespiratory work capacity improve. The reason is because beginners doing high intensity training are highly prone to body burnout due to continuous hardcore training that causes strains towards your body, especially your muscles and joints. Burnout will leave you feeling extremely tired, cranky, exhausted, and too worn out to stick with your routine. If you're a beginner, try interval training. Warm up at a low intensity and alternate one minute of high intensity with one minute low, or you can call it recovery intensity. As you progress, you can then start to either increase the intensity or the duration of the high intensity part, or decrease the duration of the low intensity part. By doing so, you'll be able to burn more calories during the workout at higher intensity. Remember, losing fat is about burning more calories than we consume over time. Combining both LI and HI will contribute to hitting your weight loss goals faster. Remember to progress slowly with baby steps though. Doing too much too soon can lead to injury or burnout which can take you out of the game. Here are the advantages of both low intensity and high intensity cardio. Maybe you should screen cap this table for your future reference. It'll help you decide the best workout that suits your body best at specific stages. So now that you know the benefits of low intensity and high intensity cardio, I'll show you some examples of exercises for low intensity, moderate intensity, and high intensity respectively so that you have a rough idea. For low intensity, you can briskly walk, do some stretching routines, yoga, swimming, and some simple household chores such as vacuuming, mopping, yard work, or washing the car. For moderate intensity, you can do speed walking, cycling, basically up-leveling any low-intensity exercise by a notch will simply work as a moderate-intensity workout. For high intensity, you can do aerobic exercises, jump rope, high-speed running or jogging, push-ups or jumping jacks. Now I've prepared a 10-minute beginner high-intensity workout. Here's a little tip for a beginner HI cardio workout for you. Complete three sets of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. First step. Jab, cross, front, right side. Stand with your right foot in front of the left, hips facing your left side. Bring your arms up into a boxing position. Jab or punch forward with the right arm, then throw a cross punch with the left arm, letting your body rotate as your left arm crosses over your body to the right. Your body weight should be over your right foot, with your back heel picking up off the floor slightly. Bring both arms back into your body, shifting your weight back to the starting position and facing front. This is the front move. Repeat on the left side. Second step, jab, cross, front, left side. Third step, jumping jacks. Start by standing upright with your feet at hip width apart and your arms at your sides. Jump your feet out while raising your arms. Repeat as fast as possible. 
If a regular jumping jack is too difficult, step side to side while raising your arms instead. Fourth step, sumo squats. Position your feet a little more than hip width apart and point your toes out at a 45 degree angle. Keeping your weight in your heels, back flat and chest upright, lower yourself until your thighs are parallel to the floor. Engage your glutes and quads and push back to the start position. Repeat. Cool down with an overhead stretch, reverse lunge and forward fold. All you have to do is follow the killer cardio plan. Using this workout schedule as a framework, you can easily add in any cardio exercise that falls into the corresponding workout style. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.